What's good, well, builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about the three pillars of building a better you. So let's go. Okay, real quick. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video because we make we talk about making more money, saving more money, building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get to the topic on hand, the three pillars to building a better you, okay? Now mind you, now mind you, right, I'm no guru or psychologist or anything of that sort but this is just my opinion okay this is just my opinion about building a better you a better uh, 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 a better lifestyle all this good stuff you know what i'm saying like number one thing in life man is progression and just getting better at stuff so that's why i always say building a better you because that that is paramount when you're trying to you know become healthy wealthy and have you know all this success and if you're not working on yourself you're not going to be successful all right so let's break down the three pillars of building a belly better you so in my opinion the three pillars of building a better you is mental physical financial say it with me mental, physical, financial, okay, your mental health is paramount, it's the number one thing, you gotta work on, you gotta work on your mental health, your mental mind state, your mental mindset, you have to work on this stuff, okay, because if you're not thinking right, you're gonna you're not gonna be taking the right actions. Okay? You're not gonna be eating right, you're not gonna work out, you're not gonna, you know what I'm saying, um, do the right things for your money. But it all comes down to what's going on up here. Up here. So mental is the number one thing you gotta work on first. Right? So how do you work on the mental first? Books. Books are number one way to work on your mental if you feel like you're lacking somewhere. Okay? And th that that's the thing. You, you, you have to be subjective. You really have to look at yourself in a subjective manner. You really got to know where your faults are, where, you, where you're struggling at, what's holding you back. You know what I'm saying? You really have to really be clear on what's what's stopping you from being successful do you not know enough about what you want to do do you need more information are you in information overload do you feel like you don't know which way to go are you struggling mentally due to some type of PS, PT, pts or psd what they call that psd or some type of um uh, issue at the house or growing up and if that's the case, maybe you need to talk some, to somebody. Maybe you need a psychologist um, and, and, and sit down or, or, or a counselor or someone to talk to about what you're going through and what you're feeling inside, okay? That is, that is, that is, that. I know a lot of people, my color, black people, a lot of black people, and a lot of immigrants and people of, of color in general don't like to work on their mental health, don't like to talk to people about what's going on and feel like they need to man up or 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 be, be pull your big girl panties up and, and do all do all that, you know what I mean, and, and work on it yourself and just suck it up. No, no you don't. If it's really bothering you and stopping you from being successful, then you need to talk to somebody about it. You need to find a psychologist. Okay, you need someone to talk, you need to find someone to talk to, a counselor, someone. And a lot of people, a lot of 
uh, people's jobs where you work at have these programs that you can use for for a minimal amount and and talk to somebody. They got free counselors. They got they have a lot of things that all you got to do is look online. Sometimes they even have online counselors where you can zoom with them or or text back and forth. Just just you know bounce ideas off of them. Really help you. You can get a life coach. It's a lot of different things you can do to help you with your mindset and put you in the right direction. Okay? So that's number one, man. You got to work on your mindset, your mental health, all that. Number two, okay, some people say work on your finances and then your finances will help you work on your physical, okay? These almost, these go hand in hand, okay? You can do physical first, you can do finance first, you can do, you know what I'm saying, whatever. That's up to you. To me personally, I think for me, what helps, what's helped me and helps me when I'm physically fit or staying in, in shape and being active, playing basketball, working out, doing, running around the house with my kids, running around outside with my kids, um, going, like I said, playing basketball, playing football with the fellas, being active, being having an active lifestyle gives me a good feeling, gives me a almost a euphoric feeling of, 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 um, energy of, of, of like, yeah, I did something today in energy wise. You know what I'm saying I, I got out there, I put some work in, you know what I'm saying? And it helps me financially because I understand that to be physically fit, you need money. <laughs> yeah, you need money. Weights, gym, um, food, the right type of food, clothing, um, you know, things like that. You need to have to really take your physical, your, 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 your physical to another level, right? So to do so, you need money to fund that. So you need to be financially straight. You need your finances to be straight. You need money. You can't be broke trying to trying to be physically fit especially especially if you're not already if you're not even have an inkling of, of of physicality and you don't work out you don't do none of that stuff but you're trying to do it now you're going to be spending money on a gym membership gym clothing food food is a big one healthy food is not cheap my friend healthy food is not cheap you know what i'm saying maybe you want to be a vegan that's not cheap Okay, yeah, you know it's cheap? Fast food, McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? That's cheap. Burger King, that's cheap. Even Chick-fil-A is not cheap. You, you go there, you spend about 9 to $10 because the food is healthy. You see what I'm saying? The healthier you are, the more money you're going to have to put up to be that healthy person. It's just that simple. And the, and the only way to do that is to make more money is to be financially set up properly you don't have to be financially set you don't have to be rich or nothing like that but you got to be able to afford it so yeah that's why you can start at home you know home workouts and stuff like that but you're going to want to take it to another level after you get a certain point and that's going to push you to figure out how to afford all this stuff and the way to afford all this stuff is to make more money so that leads me into financial health financial health is is a, it, I, I can make a whole video on that I, I am i'm probably gonna make a whole video on all this stuff but financial health is figured out how to work on your credit or you paid somebody to work on your credit if you have bad credit financial help is finding a side hustle that's bringing in money that you don't have to work so hard to do and it's very um it's 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 very important to do that because obviously most likely you have a job so you're gonna want a passive income stream or semi-passive income stream because in my opinion not not every income stream is passive especially when starting a business but um 
setting up a passive income stream, you could do something that is, is, is basically like this. You can go ahead and, you know, make videos on YouTube about whatever you like to do. If you're into cooking, if you're into knitting, if you're into working out, like that. If you're into um, cars, if you're into, you know, uh, watches, whatever your hobby is, you can take that hobby and make money on it online. So now, you're working on your mindset, you're working on your physical, and you're working on your financial because you're bringing in more money to help you support your physical journey and your mental journey because yeah, you might have to pay for some books, you might have to do all this stuff. So these are the three pillars of building a better you. And when you when you really do this step by step and focus on building a better you, going from your mental to your physical to your financial, man, doors open that you never thought would open up before. You had no even 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 inkling on it ever these doors opening for you. But they do. You're better at your at your relationships. You're better at you know spending time with your kids because you have more energy because you're more physically fit. Um, mentally, you're a little you're a little smarter. So you can you know what I'm saying speak to certain things when it comes to your kids and speak to certain things at your job because you take the time outside your job to learn new things. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it changes your life when you focus on these three pillars, man. It's not worrying about social media and worrying about what everybody else is doing. I mean, I mean I've, been, I've been preaching this for a very long time, building a better you. No, it's not an overnight thing. No, it doesn't happen in six months unless you put the work in. It doesn't happen in a year unless you put the work in. You don't get the body you want in, in, a, in, a, in a week, in a month. Especially if, you, if you're starting from a point where you are nowhere near it. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at what you want to do. Know what's going to take a minute and, get, and fall in love with the journey. And fall in love with the process. Fall in love with the everyday in and out, out and in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Find a way to make things entertaining. Find a way to keep yourself motivated. You know what I'm saying? And do your thing, man. But enough of that, man. <laughs> I just want to thank all my subscribers. Thank for all my my people that watch my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, I got a lot of things coming down the pike once I get my new my new laptop. Um, I got some new shirts coming out. I got some. I got a new ebook I'm writing. In. It's not free. I'm not doing the free ebook no more. Um, but it's not gonna be like I'm not gonna be spending a whole um, trying to break the bank or have y'all break that bank just to get an ebook. But uh, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, there you have it. I'm gonna do. A lot more on my blog. I stay on Instagram a lot too. So you know the the, the grind is YouTube and Instagram. I love it. I, that's my thing. Uh, but like I said, man, thanks for watching. Thanks for being involved with the Wealth Builders Movement. And if you want to learn how to make a hundred to five hundred dollars per day using a system that does it for you, all you gotta do is share a phone number. Click that link below. Put your information in learn more about it today okay it's free information is free to learn what it's about and like i said you can start making a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars even more if you really put the work in all right it takes a little work but not crazy again thanks for watching this your boy devon signing off for my top three pillars to building a better you till next time well builders make more save more build more it's the Wealth Builders, baby!